So apologies for being a little slow with content lately, been really busy. But Elon Musk made this tweet recently and I thought you've got to be kidding me. Upgraded SpaceX Tesla Hyperloop pod speed test soon. We'll try to reach half the speed of sound and brake within 1.2 kilometers. This is kind of nutty for such a short distance, could easily end up as shredded metal, but exciting either way. Yeah, that is kind of crazy, like homicidally crazy. And of course, yeah, it was picked up all over the place. Elon Musk speed test or shredded metal. You see, I've been to that test track and I'm not so sure I'd be so nonchalant about, huh, maybe it'll just end up as shredded metal. Unless, of course, you just want people to die. Traffic deaths have many crying with fear. Over 30,000 people are dying each year. This modest change, I propose, must be applied. Unless, of course, you just want people to die. You know, because that's kind of a bull test to do in the middle of a city next to a public street. Okay, so here we go for a drive down the Hyperloop with apparently intermittent stops. Hell, I consider myself a bold guy when it comes to doing dangerous experiments. But this would just be completely off the radar for me. I mean, let's just look at some ballpark numbers. Let's just say his pod weighs about 300 kilograms, which is way on the light side for this sort of thing. And it's traveling at half the speed of sound, so about 150 meters per second. Energy is half MV squared. So give or take, if this does turn into shredded metal, it's about the same energy as a 10 ton truck traveling at 60 miles per hour. Or give or take about half the energy of a Hellfire missile, but as a kinetic penetrator, in that if it fails, there's no air in the tube to attenuate that energy. And what sort of track is going to hold this equivalent of a 10 ton truck traveling at 60 miles per hour? Oh, that skinny little rail there. Look, I've got no issues with Elon Musk blowing up his $10 million test track to run his, his, his Tesla car. Because that's all it is, is a stripped down Tesla, which has thus far done about 200 miles per hour in a vacuum tube, which is what you could have done if you would just run it down the road next to the tube. Seriously, you take an off the shelf Tesla type car, it'll do about 250 kilometers per hour. And that's a regular car with a guy driving it. Is it really beyond the realms of imagination that if you strip everything off that car, and take the driver out, that it'll do 350 kilometers per hour. But hell, let's be generous and say he does get up to 500 kilometers per hour. Great, that's still not as fast as current high-speed trains. And this isn't a train carrying people, it's a stripped down electric car that can't transport anyone at all. But this is the thing, when people typically test this stuff, like with the Hyperloop One people, they do it out in the middle of the desert, where if it goes wrong, which inevitably it will in testing, no one gets killed. Because I gotta say, if you think there is a good chance of releasing the same energy as a truck crashing at 60 miles per hour in the middle of a city, and you willingly elect to do this, even when you're really not sure that that crappy little rail will hold a 10 ton truck traveling at 60 miles per hour. <laughs> It's going to be exciting because that is actually a pretty solid basis for some sort of death by corporate negligence charge. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've got little problem to risk to human life if the ends are worth it. But the simple fact is that Elon's speed tester, even if it works, it does nothing to show the viability of the Hyperloop. All you've done 
is run a stripped down electric car very fast in a tube. It does no more to demonstrate the commercial viability of the Hyperloop than Thrust SSC did to demonstrate the commercial viability of supersonic jet powered cars. And the fact that the world's biggest Hyperloop is just over a kilometer long shows that point wonderfully. Look, all I'm saying is pointless tests that have needless risks in the middle of a city are just kind of a douchey move.